Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run your first PSC project. So in order to run PSC project, first of all, you need to have XAMPP installed in your device. And if you do not have XAMPP installed, then I'll give a video link over here where I showed you how you can install XAMPP in your device. So once you install XAMPP, what you need to do is that you need to go to where you downloaded your XAMPP. So for my case, I download my XAMPP in my local disk C. Over here, you can see a XAM folder, so we'll just go inside and inside the XAM folder, here you can see HT Docs. So whenever we need to create any project using PHP, then every time we need to come to this folder called HT Docs. And inside this HT Docs, we need to make our PHP project. So here, let's go and create the folder. So I'll just right click over here, then uh, show more option, then click new, then folder, and let's say our uh, Folder name will be PSP underscore project. And let me just open this folder using a code editor. You can use Notepad++, Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text. So I'll just use Sublime Text. So here you can see Sublime Text and I'm going to open the project from here. So I'll uh, click open folder. Then I'll go to XAMPP. Then htdocs. And here you can see I have a folder over here called PC underscore project. So I'll just select it and click over here, select folder. So here you can see a folder is opened over here, but there is no file inside this folder. So let's just create a file. So I'll just right click on it, then click new file. And here I'm going to name it index.php, then control S and save. So make sure that whenever you are creating a PHP project, every file extension will always be .php. So right now, if I just go to my uh, PC underscore project folder, here you can see a index file is created over here and it will look like this. Let me just zoom in uh, here. It will look like this kind of, okay. If uh, you created a PHP file. So right now, uh, what you need to do is that once you install XAMPP, just open your XAMPP here you can see XAMPP control panel. If you install XAMPP, you will see something like this. Just search for XAMPP and you'll be able to get this. And here you can see Apache. So we need to start this. And there you can see it is started and it will also show you the port number. Here you can see port number is 80 for my case. For your case, it may be 8080. So right now here we created an index.php. So inside this, let's write uh, HTML code first. Let's say over here HTML and inside the body we are going to set uh, welcome, welcome to PHP and let's write a PHP code and in order to write a PHP code, we need to write it like this. Uh, we need to give this arrow sign, then we need to give a question mark, then we need to say here PHP and we also need to close this like this and inside this, we can write our PHP code. So let's say over here echo to double quotation and inside it, we are going to say uh, my first php program and let's save it and how we can see this in the browser so in order to see this what you need to do is that let's go to our browser and here make sure that your apache is running and after that we need to say over here on 27.0.0.1 then we need to give a call here then we need to mention our port number my port number is 80 which you can see over here 80 for your case it might be 8080 if your port number is 8080 just write over here 8080 but since my port number is 80 i'll just say over here 80 and after it i'll give a slash then here uh, you can see that my project name is uh, pc underscore project which is inside the HD doc. so we need to write it exactly we write over here so we we'll write over here uh, in the browser php underscore project then we'll give another slash and after it inside php underscore project we have index.php so we can just say over here index.php and then press enter and there you can see welcome to php my first PSC program. So this is how you can run your first PC program. I hope I'm clear to you. If you face any problem or any error, just let me know in the comment section.